the air, and we are ready to play ball here in Milwaukee. Great to have you with us, everybody. Celtics control the opening tip. Boston coming in with the best record in the NBA, and it is Holiday gets up the first shot. And now the Bucks with their first possession. Holiday guarding Giannis, and Giannis loses the handle. That's a matchup to watch tonight, Coach. It is, and that's exactly how Boston matched up the first time they played in November. Holiday on Giannis, and they play one-on-one. -on -one. They don't double even in the fight. Brown comes up empty. Boston winning last night to go 18-0 and 0 on their home floor as Damian Lillard rips the cords, and that gets the scoring started tonight. Quickly back down the floor, Porzingis trying to post up Lopez, and Porzingis missing. Brook Lopez in game one proved to be a little too strong inside. Giannis just drops Brown, throws it down. Brown's getting up in a wince. And Giannis with a thunder dunk. These two teams played third week of November, Thanksgiving week. Boston won that game 119-116 as the Celtics get on the board here. Jalen Brown. Well, that's how Boston had success in the first meeting. Pick and rolls with Porzingis were very, very effective. Damian Lillard, two for two to get it started. That's a great sign for Milwaukee. Lillard in the last four games before this one was only five for 31 from three. Starting to cook a little bit. He's averaging, put it on the board. Here's Tatum now. Gives it right back. Porzingis for three. In and out it goes. Porzingis did not play last night. Right knee contusion as Giannis goes strong. And it Celtics playing in their seventh back-to-back of the Sierra business in almost every statistical way, every category. They're in a very tough window of their like Boston to hit a tough part of the schedule uh, and keep them really interested. Damian Lillard fouls Tatum, who drives. And a, a team that gets to the free throw line a lot. When Tatum's getting to the line in addition to making his jump shot, then the guy becomes pretty much unstoppable. Tatum 45. He was 13 of 14 from the line last night. Brown made all of his free throws, 13 of 13, and scored 35 in the game last night. But heavy minutes for the Celtics at home in an overtime win last night. We'll see how that affects them here in a back-to-back -to -back tonight against a rival. Al Horford would be the only one not available tonight. And, of course, Porzingis is back. Giannis backing down Holiday, skips right by him. Holiday pulled the chair, thought they had a travel. Now Brown on the push. Porzingis there to throw it down. In transition, the Celtics get an easy two. And that's been a Milwaukee problem all year. 24th in fast break points allowed. They just haven't done a good job getting back to the defense set. Lillard with the left hand. Off to a great start here. He's three for three with eight points. He knocked down his first two threes. Tatum pushing us beautifully done. Great setup by Tatum. Well, Porzingis very tough as a pick and roll guy because he can pop and hit the three or he can roll and finish either on the lob or catch that pocket pass and carry it to the rim. Porzingis to Holiday. Giannis guarding Holiday. A lot of body contact, and that'll be a foul. The former bug, Drew Holiday, knocks down the first one. Chance to remind you that the NBA on TNT and brought to you by Fresh Pet. It's not dog food, it's food food. The back games, they've lost four of their last five. It's Beasley, the top three point shooter in the league. He gets a little mid range bank shot to go. Tatum did a good job running him off the three-point line. He hit a tough runner. Middleton guarding Tatum. He gets by him. And now the mid-range jumper is good for Jason Tatum. A smooth stroke of the all-star Tatum. Four times he's been selected. Certainly heading back this year, you would think. No better. What's your concern level? Maybe better ask what their defense has got to be better. I mean, they're just... 
You have to trust history. 24 of the top of the last 27 champions have been in the top 10 defensively in the regular season. 17 of them in the top five. The Bucks trying to become a rare team who doesn't guard the entire regular season and tries to turn it on in the playoffs. Not very easy to do. Here's Lillard now with White on him. Gives it to Lopez. Excellent three-point shooter. He trails his first three ball will respect than an emotional transaction and when I spoke with him he couldn't have been more focused on his new mission bringing the Celtics a championship he said after last night's win he said we beat them before I'm very confident we can do it again he said I did great things here but I'm on to better things a very professional line he's focused Sam Hauser his teammate called it a seamless transition and he said having his insight against such a great team like Milwaukee's invaluable guys and he has been given great respect because he's earned it he is the epitome of a pro's pro and I think when the Bucks made him part of that deal for Damian Lillard to Portland I was like all right uh, we're getting Damian Lillard but then all of a sudden he ends up with the Celtics and there's a little uh oh factor yeah I would think that uh not saying they wouldn't have made the deal anyway, but I'm sure they weren't thrilled to see Drew Holiday end up with the Celtics. Jalen Brown take it on Giannis. Off the hands of Beasley. Holiday runs it down. Second chance opportunity here. Brown on a bullet pass from Holiday. No good. And that's going to be Celtics ball as Drew. It'll be interesting to watch how Joe Mazzula works the rotations tonight on the second end of that back-to-back -back. chance points Middleton spins in. Middleton lays it in Middleton on the floor with Damian Lillard always interesting to watch Adrian Griffin's rotations as well when he has the big three available Porzingis and there's Beasley with the board Porzingis like Brook Lopez only shooting a little over 32 percent from three this year there's still big threats but neither one of them have shot it great portis his first minutes we appreciate bobby joining us before the game on our pregame show visiting with the guys in atlanta white little runner no good followed by porzingis rebounding has been a problem for Milwaukee is Lillard with a speed dribble. Porzingis got the block. Here's Portis now, and he lays it in. Good to see Bobby Portis on the glass, having his worst rebounding year since his second year in the league. Just hasn't been as active on the boards. A major factor, Adrian Griffin talked about their rebounding struggles as a point of emphasis. Here's Brown, gets free, Middleton a little late.